With midterm elections now behind us, what does that mean for the markets through year end? That's coming up on three minutes on Markets and Money. With midterm elections now behind us, we'll find out today, of course, whether the control of the House and the Senate flip or do they remain split? And really what this all comes down to is, do we get a gridlock Congress, which tends to be better for markets financially? Because again, no worries about excess spending or runaway bills or stimulus checks to households, whatever it is, higher taxes. Wall Street can start to plan around kind of a normality of just looking at economics, fundamentals, and kind of what's driving markets. And so markets tend to like that a little bit more. Historically, post midterm elections, markets tend to rally into year end. As we discussed previously, this bottom that we saw building back in September and early October has resulted in a bit of a rally here. Now, that rally's been, well, it's not been strong by any stretch of the imagination, but the SPY signal that we got on the MACD has performed as expected and has been supporting this move higher. Now, the good news is, post the FOMC meeting, when the Federal Reserve kind of shocked the market, sending it lower, the markets did hold that 20-day moving average support. Stocks did rally off of that yesterday, got above the 50-day moving average. Now, importantly, markets are going to have to hold that today as we kind of look to open a little bit soft this morning in the markets. Markets need to hold this 50-day moving average and potentially rally from here. Again, the next challenge for the markets is going to be these previous tops that we saw just prior to the FOMC meeting. That's also where the 100-day moving average currently resides as well. So that's going to be the next key resistance level for stocks. So a rally to that point is going to be uh, important. If we can get above that level, again, we talked about the rally potentially to 4,000 through year in. That's still a possibility. Now, again, as we start to look at the next couple of weeks and into December, we've got the Thanksgiving holiday coming up, a lot of traders going away. That kind of leaves the inmates running the asylum. Typically, stocks do a little bit better right after Thanksgiving. First two weeks of December, stocks tend to be weak as mutual funds make distributions. And then, of course, at the end of the year, the last two weeks of the year, stocks tend to do better as mutual funds have to start re-putting positions back on their portfolios for the end of year reporting. Of course, also, as we've discussed, we have stock buybacks going on right now through end of year as well, all supportive of a bit more of a rally. But again, use this rally to reduce risk, rebalance portfolios, etc. as we go into year end. Again, this rally, a bit sloppy not real committed. So as we start to see more of the impacts of Fed rate hikes and soar economic growth next year, potentially see another leg down in stock. So again, use the rally to position for that. And of course, we can always change that later if, it, if we need to. Of course, we can always change that later if we need to. But for right now, the risk still appear to be of a recession setting in early next year. I'm your host, Lance Roberts, with three minutes of markets and money. See you back here tomorrow.